Hey guys, this is Ant from Games to Find, and in this video we'll be talking about bump maps. So for those of you who don't know what bump maps are, they are just images which are used to give the illusion of a textured surface. So there are more than one way to do this. You can use a normal image, which then goes into the bump map channel, or you can use a normals map, which is in some circumstances it's the better option because it's more detailed so we're gonna actually go through both methods in this so if I just start I'll just create a plane the size of this window and we'll make it 1280 by 853 and that is a bit big just set the length and width segments to 1 See that's, yeah that's a bit big, actually we'll change this around, so 853 by 1280, let's turn the grid off. And what I want to do is just come up to the render button, hold the left click button down and select the bottom one, floating active shade. And what that does is just brings up a, an active shade like this, render window, with the uh, Shift and F to create that with real time results. So if we do that and just re click this button, we'll have that. We'll have this pop up and we'll just change it to here. There we go, perfect. So, first method I'm going to use is the normal bump map, not normals map, the bump map version. So if we press M. That brings this up, we'll just name this Bump. And then we'll go to Maps, click the Non button next to a Bump, and then click Bitmap, and go to your directory, mine's here, and we'll click Brick Texture. Okay, now if we just click, uh, drag this material onto here. As you can see, it's it looks quite well. It's actually worked because you can see it looks 3D. It looks like it's an actual mesh. It's uh, the topology has been changed. So if we want to just change this, the intensity, we just up this. We'll change it to something like 60. And there you go. It's made it a bit more detailed. Or if we do it the other way. This will give the illusion of the mortar being uh, further out than the bricks. So if we just change this to minus 60, it looks like the bricks are set in more. But we'll just change this back to 60. So when you load the texture into the bump map channel, what it does is it takes the image, in our case it's this and all it does is just changes it to grayscale so bump maps will only read white black and gray so the black parts of an image are pushed back and the white parts are pushed out so the darker it is the further back it is the brighter it is the more it's pushed out so to make this bump map look a bit better what we do is we just edit the photo in Photoshop to uh, look something like this, which which will look a lot more textured as you can see in there. So if we just zoom in on this, you can see it looks a, a lot more detailed. In fact, we'll just set this back a bit. We'll just change it to 30. There you go, it's not as bad now. It's not as uh, detailed now. So, so that's the uh, bump map version done. And if we want to just, we'll just actually add a bit of highlight to this. We'll change this to something like 30. And that looks a bit more detailed. And we'll just change the colour to something like this. And then it doesn't really make a difference. It just shows... In, well, depending on the colour, it will just show the highlights a bit better. So that's the bump map done. We'll just go into the normals version now. So if we just 
make a copy of this and rename this to normals and go down to maps click the bump map and then change the image to a normals map now in this case the map is nowhere near as detailed as you can see well it's slightly detailed but it's not as intense as the bump map uh, this is what the normals map looks like and it, it is a bit it's actually making the bricks look set in so if we just change that actually it seems to be fine on there but if we want to just change that to minus 30 here you go now it looks like the mortar is pushed out which we don't really want so we'll just change it back to 30 and that's much better so that's a normals map done as you can see bump map is a lot more detailed and that is only on 30 so different situations call for different methods for example organic uh, meshes or stuff like plants or anything like that or characters the best thing to use is uh, soft uh, external software stuff like zbrush or uh, mudbox but uh, for anything inanimate like a wall or a box or crate or anything the best method to use in my opinion is a bump map or a normals map and that gives a much better and easier detail so to create this um, normals map in Photoshop I'll show you what to do so if you just open Photoshop and we open the brick texture as you can see it's just normal texture if we go into filter NVIDIA tools and normal map filter now if you haven't got this you will have to download it so I'll just show you how to do that all we do is go into Google and type pho Photoshop normal filter and just click the top link and then click either 32-bit version or 62-bit version 64-bit version even I'm using 64-bit so I'd, I'd click that in that case but I'll just cancel this because I've already got it installed so I'll just show you how to use that you click filter the video tools normal map or oh, once you have installed this if you've got Photoshop open you will have to restart otherwise uh, if you just open it it should be there and then by default this isn't clicked this is unchecked well it was a mine it might be different depending on the different versions but I've got version 8.55 so mine was unchecked so if you just tick add height to map and leave everything the same and then click OK this is what happens and then you can just save this as a JPEG and there's your normals map now if you want to use the normal the bump map so the black and white version which is this version right here I'll show you how to do that so if you just desaturate this so go to just uh, hold control shift and press U this removes all the color and makes it grayscale and then let's go to images adjustments and levels so what I want to do is bring out all the brights and all the whites we want to make whiter all the blacks and greys want to make darker so if we just select the white tab here and bring it up like this this should do and then bring the black one in a bit to the middle there we go now of course the more intense you do this the more detailed the map will be so if we just had it like this this would be very detailed so 30 on max would be probably way too high so if you stab it about there that will do and just press ok and then you can just save this out and uh, as a jpeg and then open it in max open the texture bump and then remember bitmap and then select your image and that's it so that's it for this video i hope you've learned something if you did like the video then please like uh, leave a comment if you have any questions i'll be sure to answer and uh, 
Thanks for watching.